configure layer 3 switching and intervillain routing. The addressing table, MLS uh, multi layer switch, this switch, layer 3 switch, uh, 4 VLANs on this side, and gigabit 0 to the connection to cloud, gigabit 0 to the connection to cloud. Six pieces, six pieces, and three layer two switches. Okay. Configure layer three switching. You will configure the gigabit zero two port on switch MLS as a routed port and verify that you can ping another layer three address. Configure gigabit 02 as a routed port and assign an IP address according to the addressing table. Okay, gigabit 02, no switch port, and the IP before address. Okay, this interface and IP before address. Okay, go to MLS and configure this interface gigabit 02. The command line interface, enter, enable, configure, terminal, interface, gigabit 02. No switch port, okay, no switch port, uh, routed port, the IP address and subnet mask. IP address 209, 165, 200, 225, subnet mask 252. Okay. The interface is already up, stay to up. So it's not necessary the no shutdown command. Because on switches, the ports are enabled by default. Ping the cloud. Okay, from MLS, ping the cloud. And, and to go uh, privilege exit mode and ping. The another side, 209, 165, 200, 226. Success. Configure inter VLAN routing. Add VLANs, okay? Add VLANs to MLS according to the table below. Okay, case sensitive. These three VLANs on MLS. Okay, configure terminal. VLAN 10, name. Stuff. VLAN 20, name, student. VLAN 30, uh, sorry, VLAN 30, name, faculty, case sensitive. Exit. Configure SBI on MLS, switch virtual interface. Configure and activate the switch virtual interfaces for VLANs 10, 20, 30, and 99 according to the addressing table. Okay, this is the example for VLAN 10. We do for uh, four VLANs 10, 20, 30, and 99. Interface VLAN 10. Okay, IP address. 192.168.10.254, subnet mass uh, 24. Enter, um, interface state up, not shut down, not necessary, and uh, interface VLAN 20, IP address 20.254. Okay, only IP before addresses. Okay. If, for VLAN 20, 20.254. For VLAN 30, 30.254. Interface VLAN 30. IP address 30.254. And VLAN 99, 99.254. And VLAN interface VLAN 99. 99.254. Subnet mass 24. Exit. Configure trunking on MLS. 
trunk configuration differs slightly on a layer 3 switch. On the layer 3 switch, the trunking interface needs to be encapsulated with the dat one q protocol. On MLS, configure interface gigabit 01. This another side, gigabit 01 on MLS. Make the interface a static trunk port. Go to MLS, interface gigabit 01. Static trunk, switch port mode trunk. Very good. Okay, gigabit, uh, interface gigabit 01, switch port mode trunk. Specify native uh, 99, switch port trunk space native 99. Encapsulate the link, okay, with dot one q protocol. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q protocol. Enter. Okay, uh, you will see this message native belong mismatch because MLS uh, interface uh, gigabit uh, 01 on MLS is configured with VLAN, uh, with native VLAN 99, but on S1, the another side gigabit 01 is configured by default with native VLAN 1. So, native lang mismatch. Configure trunking on S1. Configure interface gigabit 01 of S1 as a static trunk. Okay, this interface gigabit uh, 01 on S1. Access S1. Okay. Enter. Enable. Configure terminal. Interface gigabit. Zero one and static trunk switch port mode trunk. Okay, switch port mode trunk. Okay, inconsistent VLAN. Okay, the VLAN mismatch. So fix this with switch port. Okay, uh, switch port. Trunk native VLAN 99. Enter. Okay, configure the native VLAN on the trunk. Okay, is this? Okay, for example, go to MLS and you will see this message for consistency restored. So that is very good. Enable routing, show IP root on MLS, go to MLS, the layer of three switch and on privilege exit mode, show IP root. Okay, empty. Okay, are there any active routes? The answer is no. Enable IP routing, to enable routing in global configuration mode. Okay, configure terminal on global configuration mode. IP routing, IP routing, enter. Now repeat, show IP root, and show IP root, and you will see five directly connected networks. Okay, connected, five directly connected networks. Four directly connected networks for VLANs and one for the connection to cloud. Okay, four directly connected networks for VLANs and one for the connection to to the cloud. Verify end-to-end -end connectivity. From PC0, ping PC3. From PC0, ping PC3. Okay, PC0. Ping PC3 IP address 10.2.192.168.10.2. Success. From PC1, PC4, on VLAN 20. 
from PC1 command prompt ping PC4 IP address is 20.2 success and from PC2 ping PC5 okay from PC2 ping PC5 PC2 command prompt ping PC5 192.168 theory data 2 192.168 theory data 2 success from S1 ping S2 S3 okay from S1 okay um, on S1 and to go privilege exit mode and ping S2 S2 IP address is 992 ping 192.168 992 Success uh, ping to PC3 99.3 from S1 ping S3 99.3 Success and to verify inter VLAN routing ping the devices outside the sender's VLAN. Okay, PC0 is placed on. PC0 is placed on VLAN 10, so you can ping PC5. PC0, ping PC5. And PC5 IP address is theory.2 on another network, theory.2. Success. Ping the cloud. Okay, for example, from PC0, ping the cloud. Ping 209.165.200.226. Success. The layer 3 switch is now routing between VLANs and providing routed connectivity to the cloud. Configure IPv6 inter VLAN routing. Layer 3 switches also route between IPv6 networks. Enable IPv6 routing. Okay. On global configuration mode, enable IPv6 unicast routing. And do this on MLS. Go to MLS. Configure terminal. IPv6 unicast dash routing. Enter. Okay, this command, very nice. Configure switch virtual interfaces for IPv6 on MLS. Configure IPv6 addressing on switch virtual interfaces for VLAN 10, 20, and 30 according to the addressing table. This is the example for VLAN 10. And go to addressing table. And configure VLAN 10 with this IPv6 address. Interface VLAN 10, IPv6 address. 2001 DBA ACAD 10 colon colon 1 prefix 64. Okay, and VLAN 20 interface VLAN 20 20 colon colon 1 interface VLAN 30 30 colon colon 1. Okay. No IPv6 on VLAN 99, no IPv6. Configure Gigabit 02 with IPv6 on MLS. Okay, use this IP address for Gigabit 02 on MLS, the IPv6 connection. Interface Gigabit 02, IPv6 address 2001 DB8 ACAD A. A colon colon one prefix sixty four. Okay, exit. Show IPv six root to verify. Exit again. Show IPv six root space. Now you will see the connected networks. 
one static route configured on the router uh, is a pre-configuration and one directly connected network two three four four directly connected networks okay three directly connected networks for VLANs and one directly connected network for the cloud okay three directly connected networks on this side on four VLANs and one directly connected network the connection to the cloud verify ipv6 connectivity Devices PC3, PC4, and PC5 have been configured with IPv6 addresses. Okay, PC3, PC4, and PC5 configured with IPv6. Okay, PC3, PC4, and PC5 using IPv6. PC0, 1, and 2 are not using IPv6 for now. And from PC3, Ping MLS to verify connectivity within VLAN 10. Okay, from PC3, ping MLS VLAN 10. Okay, go to PC3. Okay, ping. MLS VLAN 10. Use the IPv6 2001 db 8 ACAD 10 colon colon 1. 2001 db8 acad 10 colon colon 1 enter okay success from pc4 ping mls vlan 20 pc4 command prompt mls vlan 20 is this 20 colon colon 1 Ping 2001 db8 acad 20 colon colon 1. Success. From PC5, ping MLS VLAN 30. From PC5, ping MLS. PC5, common prompt. Ping. 2001 db8 acad acad column mls vlan 30 ipv6 30 column column 1 30 column column 1 and ping between devices pc3 pc4 and pc5 to verify inter vlan routing Okay, for example, from PC3, ping PC4. Okay, go to PC3 and ping PC4. PC4 IP address is 20, dot, uh, 20 colon column 2. Okay, 20 colon column 2. Ping from PC3 to PC4. Okay, enter. Success. And from PC3 to PC5. PC5 is 10 colon column 2. I think it should be theory column column two. Okay, verify on PC5. Okay, theory column column two. Okay, the addressing table has an error. Should be theory column column two. PC3 link to theory column column two. End of success. From PC3, ping the cloud. 2001 db8 acad a column column 2 okay pc3 ping 2001 db8 acad a column column 2 enter success completion 100% thank you very much